What's up guys, my name is Brovex and today I'm going to be showing you guys a speed solving method called CFOP. CFOP is an acronym and each letter stands for a different part of the method. So C stands for cross. So first you're going to create a cross with all the side pieces matched up with their correct color face. F stands for F2L, which means first two layers. So after you create your cross, you're going to solve the face, the first layer, and the second layer simultaneously. O stands for orientation of last layer. So for that part of the method, you have to solve the opposite face of white, which is yellow. And then your final step is P, and P is permutation of last layer. And that just means that you solve the entire cube. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the first two parts of the method, which is creating the cross and solving the first two layers simultaneously. So let's get started. So the first part of the method is to create a white cross with all the side pieces matched up to their correct color face. So if you're watching this video, you probably already know how to do that. So let's do it. So after you've created your cross, you're ready for the second part of the method, which is F2L. F2L stands for first two layers. So now we're going to solve the first and the second layer simultaneously. And in order to do that, we have to turn our cube over. And from now on, yellow is going to be our top face. So what we're basically going to do in this method is find a white corner piece in the top layer. Then we're going to find its matching side. So because this is a green and red corner piece, we have to find a green and red side piece. And we find that green and red side piece here. Once we find the two matching pieces, what we're going to do is pair them up. So we pair the green with the green and the red with the red. Once we have a pair, we can put it into the correct place. We want to bring it to the red and green side. So basically we're going to put it into place and complete the first two layers simultaneously. So that, that was the basic of what this method is going to accomplish. Now let's go over different scenarios. So you have two goals with this method. The first goal is to pair a corner piece with a side piece. And the second is to put that pair in the correct position on the cube. So sometimes by chance, after completing your white cross, you might find that you've already have a pair completed. When that happens, what you have to do is look at the corner piece. And in this case, this is a white, red, and green corner piece. So you go to the red and green side. And then if we look at what we want to do, we want to take this white piece and move it here. And by doing that, we'll put these two green pieces here and these two red pieces here. So in order to do that, you have to look at the top piece of the corner, which is green. So you're going to orientate the cube so that green is facing you. Then you have to go opposite direction of where you want to place the white piece. In this case, we want to place the white piece here. So we go to the right. You bring up that piece you want to replace. You bring back the piece that you brought in the opposite direction. And you bring down that piece you brought up. And by doing so, we place both those uh, connecting pieces in the right position on the cube. So there's three major scenarios in this method. If you're able to understand these three, you can solve the first and second layer simultaneously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from what I think is the easiest scenario and we'll work our way to what I think is the hardest. So this is the first scenario and the way you determine which scenario you're in is by finding a white corner piece and in this case the white corner piece has a green and red side so you have to find its matching side piece which is here. Now what you have to do is you have to look at the top layer and you see that the corner piece and the side piece have the same color. So this is scenario one. So when I see this scenario with the tops matching, I say to myself, same top, jump side piece. So what does that mean? I want to take this side piece and pair it here somehow. So the way I'm going to do it is by jumping this side piece either to this position to get it next to this corner piece or this position to get it to this corner piece. Now the way I know which side I want the side piece is by looking at where the white is on the corner piece. Because the white is on this side, 
I want to go to the side opposite that, which is here. So now that we know that we want the side piece to go here, so from this position to this position, what we have to do is orientate the cube like this, so we're not facing the white. We bring down that corner piece out of the top layer. And now we're free to turn the top layer, moving the side piece wherever we want. So we wanted it here. So we're gonna turn to the right, putting it in the position we wanted. Now we can bring back the corner piece we brought down. And now we have a pair. So we already know what to do when we have a pair. So we have to look at the corner piece and we see that it's red and green. So we go to the red and green side. Because the top is green, we orientate the cube with the green face facing us. We go opposite, so opposite direction of where we wanna put that white, green, and red piece. Up, we bring up the piece we wanna replace back, we bring back that piece down. And with that, we've uh, placed the pairing in the correct position on the cube. So let's do that scenario one more time. So we find our white corner piece, then our matching side piece. We see that the top colors are both the same. So we say to ourselves, same top, jump side piece. So first we determine where we want that side piece. Now, because white is here, we want the side piece to be opposite that, so here. So we wanna jump to this side piece twice. One, two. So what we do is we orientate the cube so that we're not facing white. We bring down that piece. We go and bring this side piece over twice. So one, two and we bring back that uh, corner piece that we brought down. Now we have a pairing. What we do is we see that this is a red and green corner piece, so we go to the red and green side. The green is on top, so we face the green face towards us, and we go opposite, up, back, down. So one last time, let's say that the two top pieces this time are red as opposed to green. So what we have to do is first say to ourselves, same top, jump side piece. So we have to jump this side piece either here or here to pair it up with this corner piece. So the way we determine which side we wanna go on is by looking at where the white is. So since the white is here, we wanna go opposite that, which is here. So we wanna take this side piece and move it here. The way we do that is we orientate the cube so that the white is not facing us. We bring down that corner piece. Now we take this side piece and move it here. We bring back that corner piece and we've created our pair. When we have a pair, we already know what to do because this is a green and red corner piece. We go to the green and red corner. And because the top of the corner piece is red, we orientate the cube so that the red is facing us. We go opposite, so opposite direction of where we wanna put that pair. Up, back, down. So that was scenario one. Let's go to scenario two. So this is scenario two. This is our corner piece with our matching side piece. Now the way you know this is scenario two is by looking at the top face and we see that we have a white in there. Because there's a white, we know it's scenario two. So when I see this scenario, I say to myself, white top, align side piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our side piece and align it to its correct color. Now what we do is we look at the top of that side piece and we see that it's red. This is gonna tell us how we're gonna orientate the cube. So because this is red, I wanna go opposite of the red. So like this. So now we're gonna take our side piece, bring it opposite of the red, which is on the other side, so opposite. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get my corner piece so that the white is here, the red is here, and the green is here. So our corner piece is here. So we turn it until 
it's paired. Once it's paired, we bring back that piece that we brought down, and now we have a pair. So we already know what to do with pairs. Because this is a green and red corner, we go to the green and red side. Because the top is red, we go and orientate the cube so that the red is facing us. We go opposite direction of where we want it. Up, back, down. So here's that scenario again. Here's our corner piece with our matching side piece. We look at the top face, we see that white's on top, so we say white top, align side piece. So we go to that side piece and we align it so that the colors are matching. We look at the top and we see that it's red. So we orientate ourselves so that the red is on the opposite side. We go opposite direction of the red. And then we turn our top layer until we get a match, until we get a pair, and there it is. So we bring back that side we brought down. And again, we have our pair here. So green, red, green, red. Red's on top, so we orientate the cube this way. Opposite, up, back, down. So now we're ready for scenario three. So this is scenario three. This is the corner piece and the matching side piece. Now the way we know this is scenario three is by looking at the top face and we see that the corner piece and the side piece have different colors. So whenever I see the scenario, I say to myself, different tops can't be opposite. So what that means is that when the corner piece and the side piece are the different color tops, the side piece can't be opposite the white piece. So in this case, the side piece is opposite the white piece. So we have to move this side piece to this position. So what we have to do is bring down this corner. Now we're free to move the top layer wherever we'd like. So we said we want to move this side piece to this position. So we do that by moving the cube to the right. We bring back that corner and we say to ourselves again, different tops can't be opposite. So the side piece is now not opposite the white, so we can now pair them. Now the way we pair them is first we match up the reds. Then we bring this white piece to this white side. And we bring down that piece and we've matched them. So here's that scenario one more time. Here's our corner piece and here's our matching side piece. So we look at the tops and we see that they're different. So we say different tops can't be opposite. So the side piece is not opposite the white. So we're good to pair them up. So what we do is we match the reds, match the whites, bring it down. So those are the three main scenarios that you'll encounter when doing this method. And if you understand those, then you'll be able to complete the first and second layer simultaneously. Now I'm going to show you guys what to do when you have a pair, but they're not in the correct orientation. So what we first have to do is uncouple them. And the way we do it is first we orientate the cube so that the pair is facing us. We bring down the corner piece and we move the top layer in the opposite direction of the corner piece. And we bring back that corner piece. Now we can see that they're not next to each other anymore. So this for, for this specific scenario, we see that the white's on top. So we say white top, align the side piece. So the side piece is green here, so we align it to the green side. Then we see that the top is red, so we go opposite the red. So opposite direction of the red. We move the top until we have a pair. We've created our pair. We bring back that piece. So now that we have a pair, we have to align it to the red and green side, the red and green side. The top is red. So what we do is we uh, align the cube so that the red is facing us. We go opposite direction of where we want it. Up, back, down. So here's a similar scenario where you have a pair, but it's not in the correct orientation. So we have to uncouple it. So the way we do that is we have the pair face us. We bring down that corner 
Now we move the top layer opposite the corner and we bring back that corner. Now we look at the tops and we see that they're different. So we say to ourselves, different tops can't be opposite. So the side piece is opposite the white. So we have to move it to this position. So the way we do that is by bringing down this corner, moving that side piece to this position and bringing back the corner. So again, we say to ourselves, different tops can't be opposite. So this time the side piece is not opposite the white. So we can go ahead and pair them. So we pair the reds, we pair the whites, and we bring it down. So now the only way you can pair pieces is if they're in the top layer. So if, for example, I wanted to complete the first and second layer of the red and green side here, I couldn't do that because the piece I need, the corner piece I need is in the bottom layer. So the way you bring a piece from the bottom layer to the top layer is by taking that corner piece, bringing it to the top layer, turning the top layer in whatever direction you want, bringing that corner piece back down, and now you can see I have the corner piece to complete the red and green side in the top layer. So the same thing goes for side pieces. So I can't pair this side piece to its correct corner unless it's in the top layer. So the way I can do that is by simply bringing that side piece into the top layer, turning the top layer in whatever direction I want, and then I'm going to bring back that side. Now you can see that I brought this side piece into the top layer and it can now be paired with this correct corner. So one last thing I have to show you guys is this idea that you don't wanna break up pairs you've already made. So in a lot of our movements, we usually bring down a corner piece, which brings the back into the top layer so that when we turn it, we're kind of destroying this pair. So how do we avoid destroying pairs that we've already made? So for this specific scenario, we have a corner piece and it's matching side piece here. We see that the tops are different. So different tops can't be opposite. So the side piece is opposite the white. So we have to move this side piece to this position. But what happens when we bring this corner piece down, we bring this piece, which is a valuable pair, into the top layer so that when we complete the process, even though we've created uh, a good outcome here, we've destroyed a pair. So how do we avoid that? The way we do that is by moving the corner piece so that the back layer is not valuable pieces. So there's not a pair here, so we don't really care about it. So now if we want to continue with this and move this red piece here, we bring the corner piece down, we move that red piece to where we want it, we bring this back up. So now we've created a, a good situation, but we also haven't destroyed any of our already made um, pairs. So let's just complete this. So what we do now is we line up uh, this corner piece with the red and green sides, so since this is a red and green uh, corner. We pair the reds, pair the whites, bring it down. And with that, you've created the first and second layers along with the face all at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or want to see more videos like this, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer. This is Brovax. Thanks for watching.